Paris, France, 1977. The National Center for Space Studies establishes an organization to record eyewitness accounts of abnormal phenomena observed in the sky. Known today as JPON, which translated stands for the Group for Studies and Information on Unidentified Aerospace Phenomena. The unit has amassed more than 100,000 pages worth of UAP reports. And in 2007, the group did something unprecedented. It shared all of its files with the public. France is quite unorthodox when it comes to how governments are dealing with UFOs. They released all their UFO data and they said, here's where we're at. As we get new information, we're just gonna release it to you, the public. They did something that no one had ever done before. It was the first time it had ever happened. France is one of these countries that both culturally and also governmentally have made a point to be in front of the UFO issue. This is a rarity because of the national security implications, but it shows us an opportunity where the public can be informed alongside the government with the fundamental reality that UFOs are real, that the presence on planet Earth has been durational. It has been here a long time. And there is a mystery that we need to look at. It is our right to know and our duty to find out. Jipan posted information on their website on over 1,600 cases and concluded that 28% of them cannot be explained by conventional events. And a number of these unexplained sightings were reported by multiple witnesses. One of the most sensational encounters took place more than 45 years ago on a clear, cloudless night at a combat flight school to the southwest of Paris. There was an incident on March 3rd, 1976, when French fighter pilots were engaged in a training mission. Every five minutes, T-33 planes were taking off from the airbase near Tours. Flying solo at an altitude of 20,000 feet, each student pilot had to navigate a route of several hundred miles. One of these pilots was flying with, with several other uh, flights just behind him, he suddenly saw this huge green fireball coming straight at him. And in fact, he thought that it was going to hit his plane. And he covered his eyes and braced for impact. And just then, this green fireball went off to one side and clipped the wing of his jet fighter. He was amazed that he had actually survived this and had no idea what happened but two pilots behind him had seen the same thing. Nothing was recorded on the radar on the ground, but the fact remains is that highly trained military pilots saw this object. They couldn't explain what they actually saw. Commercial airline pilots were also involved in an extraordinary incident that occurred over the French capital. This time, the reported UFO encounter took place in broad daylight. On January 28, 1994, Air France Flight 3532 was flying from Nice, France to London, England. They were just over Paris when all of a sudden the pilots reported seeing an orangish reddish disc about 30 miles away. It was changing its form. It transforms into a bell from a bell into a lens, from a lens back into a bell. And they kept watching this transformation, which today we know this is one of the key signatures in the UFO phenomena. Later, when they made their report, they found out that radar had also tracked this disk, and they had no explanation for it at all. These are just two examples of the 400 incidents that could not be explained. France's decision to share its data with the public is unprecedented. Then again, their entire approach to UAPs stands in stark contrast to the way the rest of the world operates. If you look at the history of government UFO programs, most nations that have had one embed those programs in either the Air Force or the Department of Defense. The French have a different model. 
Their UFO program is embedded in their national space agency. And they're provided with data from the military. And so it's this trilateral commission almost of space, public, military, and government working together to release to the public current information on UFOs. What you get is a, a less secretive and threat orientated approach and a more open scientific inquiry. If you embed a UFO program in the military, their first question is, is this a threat? If you embed it in the scientific community, their question is, what is the true nature of this phenomenon? And can we do any scientific experiments to validate this? So if you look at the way things are done in France, that might be a model for the future here in the US.